Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do, a, I got a couple little projects I want to do. The first thing, and it's been raining just to set this all up. It's been raining, I don't know, for five, four, five, six days straight. But why it stopped and it's kind of warm, I got a little spot back here that I had some hay bales stored. And uh, I'm going to get my tractor down here and kind of bush hog this down. I've got some uh, winter rye I'm going to put down there to kind of keep the weeds suppressed and then when it comes up I'm gonna bring my sheep over and let them feed on that first I need you to hit that subscribe button uh, we appreciate it we're a small farm in southeast Tennessee uh, we post videos three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday uh, mostly about our small farm and some other stuff we do and uh, I'm, also I'm gonna run up before we get thrown in some before it gets too dark I'm gonna run up there and uh, we'll check in on a little uh, peanut the little male goat if you've seen our last episode uh, we got some new little male goats. So I'm going to go check on him, and I'll take you along with him. Uh, the other day when I got him, it's so dark in the barn. We couldn't see him in the barn. And hopefully, it's just right up here, so hopefully it's not too dark yet. And then I'm, I got to gotta redo a door on one of my A-mobiles, but I got to measure it first and build it, and uh, I'll build it later, and I'll show you when I, when I put it on. I just need to get my measurements, and I'll show you what it's doing and why I need to do that. So let's go up to the barn and... Uh, check on peanut and we'll get the tractor and we'll come down here and do some tractor work and uh i'll see you at the barn so he's doing really good uh come here come here and let everybody see here he uh it's probably been about three days in here so probably this weekend i'll uh put the uh chip in there with him here come on come on everybody wants to see you. come on now he's camera shy Come on, everybody wants to see you. Come here, look. He's actually really healthy. I don't see nothing wrong with him. Uh, usually, you know, every goat I've ever had that's been healthy is their, come here, hold on, hold on, come here. Is his tail's been up. Usually if they get sick, their tail goes down like that right there. So every goat that I've had that's got sick on me, that's been an indicator. This one, I hadn't seen his tail down much, but he is cute as a button. And uh, yeah, I know, come on, it's okay. He, for some reason he don't like the camera, but if you're here by yourself, he'll, he'll play with you a little bit without the camera. There you go. So he's doing all right. I think he's gonna be a pretty good little, little goat for us. Uh, so he won't hurt you. He's a little camera shy. So uh, I'll put uh, Chip over here with him. I, I think they're gonna be all right. Chip's pretty calm. And uh, of course he's eating food and he's eating a little bit of hay. I wish he's eating a little more hay, but uh, you know, he is kind of little still, so. But he eats, he eats the same food as the other goats. He's been eating it really, really good. And uh, of course he likes those animal crackers. All right, so we'll go get started on a little project. You know what it is? I just figured out this camera's got a camera in front and uh, so you can see yourself when you're filming and he sees himself in that camera. I think it spooks him a little bit. So anyway, I think that's kind of funny. He'll kind of get used to it. <laughs> see how big he's got. Yeah, chocolate, he's, uh, he's full grown, I think, now. He ain't gonna get no bigger. I'm a little worried about putting them together, but I'll keep an eye on them, don't worry. Yeah, okay. Let's see? You can't have my shirt. Yeah, he'll get friendly. He gets friendly. I don't know what it is about the camera, but he's getting around there now. All right, come on, I got you some food. Okay, so I got my tractor down here, and like I said, I'm gonna take my bush hog, and I'm gonna mow this down, this area right through here, probably from here all the way back to here. I'm gonna mow it pretty close as I can get it, almost all the way down, so, and that way then we're reseeded. There's a bunch of, uh, let me take you over there and I'll show you what I was in there. I 
like I said, I had a bunch of uh, round bells stored here and uh, it's kind of got weedy and it's hard to mow around. I finally got those out and uh, now it's a mess. So my thought is I'll mow this down close and uh, throw the winter rye right on there and hopefully uh, it chokes some in weeds out. Plus it'll give a little uh, uh, green manure to it and I'll put some red grass here in the spring. I don't know if you remember, I ordered a uh, cutting har from Rural King back in October where it's finally here. Was it first, second week of December? So it's almost, well, I knew the weather was gonna stay like this. I'd go ahead and plant my grass and my clover, but we'll probably have to wait till February now just to be safe. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna put some temporary uh, green clover, uh, green cover down here. It's a, it's like a winter rye, and hopefully this will take care of this part. So let's get started and get bush hogging. We got that uh, bush hog. That bush hog really nice. It's, it does really good when it's raining, when it's wet like this, you know. Well, it feels good to get outside though. I was just thinking that riding down here, I feel like I've been cooped up for five or six days because of the rain. It feels like it's going to come some more, so we better get going. So this is what I'm going to use. Some uh, winter magic. It's a uh, grazing rye. It's made for the winter. It's like all, all kinds of stuff. I actually bought this last year for a cover crop in my high tunnels. And I didn't cover crop this year. I just want to try it different. See how it does. I, I don't know. So I'm kind of using this as a cover crop out here. And I, I'll probably eventually when I get all this settled in, all my fields, all my hay fields and grazing fields and all that, I'll probably start planting this every year because it's very economical and I'm gonna pull the sheep over and we'll see how they like it you know so I probably got if it all comes up here I probably got let's see one about a week of grazing that I'll have in this one little area here so that'll be good I haven't even fed my sheep any hay since I've been into the uh, mobile pen that we built uh, of course I move them every day and they eat grass and I've documented that how I'm pretty impressed with them so I'll pull them, pull them over here once this comes up and gets so high and we'll see how that does, you know, if we want to do it all over like next winter or something. So anyway, let's get started before we get rained out. And I'm just going to spread this by hand. I have a, I had a push spreader that I used in my high tunnels, but I run over it with my tractor. So busted it all up. So anyway, I'm going to do this one by hand. So.
Okay, it wasn't too bad. Uh, just took me about five minutes. Now, if I was doing this on my big field, I, I got a thing that uh, I put behind my tractor and pull a spreader. It spreads it out. I think it holds like 200 pounds or something. So I'll bring that out when I do the whole field. And really what I would kind of in my mind, I don't know if this is possible or not, maybe put like a winter rye out and cut it for hay early. Then have your native grass come up and then cut it. So I'd get two really good cuttings of hay uh, for my animals and everything. So anyway, uh, let's run over there and uh, look at the uh, Eggmobile door I gotta replace. I gotta get a measurement on it and uh, I'll probably build it tomorrow and put it on Saturday. I'll try to film it, so. And this is a cereal rye. This is not a, uh, I think there's two different kinds of rye cereal rye and a forage rye maybe or a, I don't know you can look it up so anyway that's why I don't think you can cut this particular one for hay at least that's what they tell me so but we'll find out we'll see how they graze you know it's, it's really cheap I got 50 pounds for like 20 bucks so of course that was last year it's probably a hundred bucks this year so let's go over to the Amobile and look at it okay we're over here this is the uh, I guess this is the Amobile 2.0 but you can see the door. It's really warped because of the rain. And uh, that's the reason I used two doors on that one because I knew this was gonna be a problem after I did it. So I'm gonna get a measurement on it and uh, I'll build a new door and uh, I'll show you when I put it on. I think I'm gonna make it out of maybe something three quarters solid and maybe paint around the edges so it won't warp. I think this is uh, this is three eighths plywood, so I made that one out of uh, it's at least half, maybe maybe three quarter. But this is just something I had here, so I try to make you know use stuff I have, and it's really, I mean, it's really warped really bad. I'm afraid a raccoon come down there and pull that open and get down in there and kill all my chickens. It's, it's the main reason. So let's get a measurement on it. So about 42 by 14 and a half. So I can watch this video tomorrow and uh, remember my measurement. 42 by 14 and a half. So I'll make that and I'll show you. I'm still working on my water feeder 2.0 or might be 3.0 now. I can't remember, but I've got some ideas on it. I've kind of been working on when I can and uh, I'm also waiting on my last seed catalog to get here. The company I usually buy from, I got, really I had three main ones that I buy from. Might just be two this year, but I'm waiting on the one of the ones I want to use, so. As soon as it gets here, I do a video on how I pick my seeds and how much it costs and where I get them from and all that stuff, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get ordered and just about getting close to getting to be garden time. I'm ready to go. You know, we've had a little break here. I'm ready to go. I was planting that grass there. It's got me ready to go. So as soon as they get here, as soon as that one seed gets holding, it might even be here today. I just seen the mailman drive by. So as soon as it gets here, uh, we'll do a video on picking our seeds and and uh, hopefully we'll get all that stuff bought. Hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Be down here. Just hit it. Don't cost you anything. We appreciate it. Peanut appreciates it and uh it'll get our message through youtube a lot better and more subscribers we have remember to support your local farmers and uh we'll see you down here in the farm next video